we got the new Vital Stem Plus device here at SNR. Um, we're one of the first few people in the country to have it, and I went to the very first training last Friday, and we're really excited about it, and we want to show it to you guys. This is what it looks like. So it's got traditional Vital Stem paired with SEMG, and it also has a lot of extra features that you can customize, unlike the original Vital Stem. Um, but the SCMG component is really neat because you can actually measure muscle activity, so it gives you something objective to track from session to session and kind of measure progress. So Stacy here is going to demonstrate with me how this looks and how it works. So we're going to show you guys the SCMG feature. So I'm going to go in, and before we started this, we measured Stacy's maximum strength, and that was 80. So we've got 80 here, and it's going to give us a chart, a graph. And she's going to demonstrate the effortful swallow exercise. So for this, you swallow and you're trying to use more effort than your max in just your normal trials that we did prior to this. So 80 is the line here that's marked. So she's going to try to swallow and reach above 80 to do the effortful swallow. Okay, go ahead. Yep, see it there? So in like a normal session, you would do this multiple times and practice it to the point of fatigue to exercise the pharyngeal muscles. I'm going to show them again. Let me get a drink of water. Yeah, and you can do it with a drink or without. So swallowing effortful, like you're swallowing a hard-boiled egg is what we tell our patients a lot. So just a hard swallow, trying to get above your max strength level there. Um, so the next exercise we'll demonstrate that we give a lot of our patients is the Mendelssohn Maneuver. And this is one that it is really handy to have a visual because it's hard to explain to our patients otherwise. But for this one, you're swallowing, and then when your larynx elevates in the middle of the swallow, you're pausing for about three seconds, and then you complete the swallow. So you start to swallow, you pause for a few seconds, and then you complete the swallow. And so on this one, on the graph, it will go up, and then you'll see where she holds for a few seconds and then goes down. Um, but we're actually going to lower the target. So since we had it high like that for the effortful, for the Mendelssohn, we're going to go to about half of that. So I'm going to change that down to 40. Let's see. So she'll just go anywhere over half of her max, but we're holding it for two to three seconds on this exercise. Okay. So I've got the bar set at 40 now, so she's going to swallow, hold, and then and can then complete the swallow. Yeah, see how it did the beeps, and it went up for a couple seconds, and then down. I'm going to show us again. Yeah, so it went up, but she held for a couple seconds, and then down. And so that's one that we would, you know, use with our patients here in the clinic and at home, but it helps in the office to kind of have a visual, because that's one that's really hard to explain to people without something to look at. Um, it's really hard for people to know they're doing it right. Yeah, so she held no, up and down, versus just a normal swallow, it just comes to a peak at the top. Yeah, so that's the effortful, um, and then just do a normal swallow for us. So just a normal one just comes to a peak. So you can kind of see the difference. So it helps our patients in therapy to have something to actually look at and compare and have a visual. So we're really excited that we have this now and it can be paired with stimulation. So we could actually, we don't have them on Stacy, but we could actually have stimulation to stimulate the muscles at a certain point in the swallow. Um, like if they have trouble propelling the food from the front to the back of the mouth, we can have electrodes here and here and set it where it stimulates this part and then the pharyngeal region one second later to kind of encourage that backward movement or um, we can stimulate at different points in the swallow since we can see it on a CMG. So it's a really neat feature and we're really excited to use it here in the clinic. Um, is there anything else you want to do while you've got it hooked up here? <laughs> Not that I can think of. <laughs> okay. It takes a few tries, but... Yeah, it does, but it's really neat yeah. to have something like a visual to use with our patients. So we used it for the first time with a patient today, and it went really well. We're excited. So yeah. anyway, if anybody has any questions about it, feel free to contact us, and we're happy to help. See you later. Bye. Bye.